gracious me! What is going on guys, TVM here. Welcome back to the Road to Glory. The support and the views continue on the Road to Glory episodes. And I thank you very much for that. If you want to hit the like button, then that would be very much appreciated. But know that you don't have to. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy whatever I'm doing here today. Because I, apart from one thing, I genuinely don't know what we're going to fill the rest of the episode with. We do need to play games in Rivals because this week, due to the fact that we are in Division 5 now, because... Like, I just don't play Rivals. I play Weekend League, and then the rest of it is spent doing other things. And we potter along in the, the Road to Glory, and we finish... Normally, we finish Rank 3, Division 4. But because I played a few games last week, was going through a little bit of a bad spell, got myself relegated because I'm an idiot, and I was on the borderline anyway. We're now in Div 5. So I'm not too far away from being uh, promoted again, actually, because we only need a few points to go up to Division 4. So that's not too bad. We might be able to do that. But I want to finish rank 2 minimum because the rank 3 rewards in Division 5 are not the best. 215k's 135 tradable or 235k's untradable and 415k's. Which wouldn't be too bad for things like fitness cards etc. But we're not. I don't really need them. You know I can use individual fitness from bronze pet method. That's not a problem. The tradable or untradable rewards for rank 2 are much better 150k to uh, sorry 150k 135k tradable or two of each 235k's 250k's untradable that would be much better and it's not the uh, it's not the hardest thing in the world to achieve either we we are just in it by 30 points but if i just play a few games today a few games tomorrow we will be fine that shouldn't be a problem i i, I can't imagine that finishing much higher than say 14,000 and even that would be that's high you know I think I think we could do that so I need to I need to play a few rival games uh, you'll notice that the coins are now at 296 I went and spent what we had and had to sell a couple of contracts and a bronze card uh, I had to do that in order to get the coins together to complete Tony Cruz which I've done uh, a couple of comments one of which really confused me Dave said, have you... No, wait, no, that's not Dave. My bad. Because I'll answer that in a second. But um, uh, B Bips Ahoy said, you have no right to complain about the goals they score on you when 90% of your goals are time finesse. Um, if I ever complain about a goal being scored on me, it's only... I mean, if I, if I in yesterday's video, for whatever reason, complained about a goal that I conceded and it was... A legit goal like a time finesse or just a crazy goal in general then yeah I apologize for that because I, I you're right and I've said it I think I even said it in yesterday's video I've got no right to complain about goals being scored against me because most of my goals are time finesses 100% but then again if I'm complaining about a goal that I believe is a glitch I'm gonna submit that it's very high rated a lot of players in there that I not necessarily want to give up but hey I'm not using them, so it's pointless keeping them, right? There we are. We have ourselves now a 91-rated Tony Cruz, whether it be for a super sub or whether it be for a team that we build into into the future. Who knows? But either way, it's there. I doubt I will ever use that as SBC fodder, and if I ever do, it'll be right at the back end of the game where he's not being used anymore. But uh, there we are. Fantastic card, even to bring on as a sub. I've got him on my main account, I've used him a lot, so happy days. But uh, yeah, I, you're right, I've got no no right to complain about goals being scored on me. So if I ever do, it's more than likely a glitch. So that the the goal that I can only remember the, the complaining about is um, the the one that went over the line uh, my, when my goalkeeper had it and then Son went into my goalkeeper. That's the only goal I can remember moaning about this weekend. And if it's a goal like that, then I have every right to complain about it because that's a glitch. The goals I score, time finesses, are mechanics. You know, it, it's a broken mechanic in the game. It's an overused broken mechanic in the game. And I have every right to complain about that because everyone can do it. And, um, sorry, I have every right to complain about a glitch because not everyone can just go out and perform a glitch you know it's just one of those things that happens unfortunately and you can't do much about it but when it comes to um a time finesse no i have no i have no right to complain about it and i don't generally so if i did in that last video then i apologize i was just probably tilted uh so laporte is one of the new sbcs i will not be completing this and i said that about tony cruz but this is pointless 
in my opinion, for us, not for you necessarily. You might feel like there's a use for it, but uh, for me personally, uh, uh, that card is... I I've reviewed it, and it's not a bad card at all. It it's, it's not bad. Um, with a chem style on top, particularly, it turns into like a 92-rated centre-back, and it it's got some qualities to it, but... It won't fit into the team. It's not better than what we have already. So there's just no point doing it. And it's not like it's high enough rated. So people are going to be like, do it anyway. Because it'll be SBC fodder in the future. Well, I'm going to have to give up at least 185 card to get it. So I might as well just keep what I've got, right? 91 rated card's a little bit different. To go out and buy a 91 rated card in this game, you're going to need to spend 60, 70k anyway. So that makes sense. But uh, that Laporte doesn't. We get a 45k pack for completing Tony Cruz. Let us do that right now and see what we get. Uh, not a walkout. That's a massive shame. Big shame. Maybe I should have kept that for rewards. But then again, content. Uh, Dutch striker, be Depay. It is Depay. That's much better than uh, than Dost. Not worth anything Depay anymore. But uh, I'll take it. It's much better than getting Bass Dost, as I just said. We get Wayne Rooney in there. A bunch of other SBC fodder. Uh, nothing that's worth anything though, so we'll store that in the club. I've been tempted to build a couple, nothing too crazy, but a couple of two player packs just because there's Champions League items in packs right now. Maybe I won't do one necessarily, but I'll just have a look to see how many untradeable goal players we have. And, uh, and while I'm doing that, um, I'm going to go through, and maybe, hang on. Two seconds. I should have done that way around, so at least I know. There we go. Yeah, I'll do. I'll do one or two, and we'll see. Uh, I don't mind using rare cards necessarily, uh, but try one weekend. Sit with a coffee and finish your games for the road to glory, fans. One weekend, I will definitely finish my games. Unfortunately, um, as much as I'd like to to say, you know, one weekend, screw it, I'm going to just finish my games and forget every, forget everything else, you know, if, if if Team of the Week predictions gets in the way or whatever, then, you know, so, you know tough, I'm going to I'm gonna kick it out of the way, it, I'm, I'm just going to do, um, it's difficult to do two things at once, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to do uh, games and I'm not going to worry about other videos, I'd love to be able to do that one weekend, I, I genuinely really would, but I... I'm literally putting off going to get a haircut because I can't spare the time. And I know it sounds stupid. What do you mean you can't spare the time? Of course you can. You're just making excuses. I'm not, genuinely, right? I have somewhere to be tomorrow, and it's unavoidable, and it's likely to be all day. And I have to go, and I can't not go, right? Um, so I need to make videos in advance for that. So that's what I'm doing today. And I, I really wanted to go and get a haircut. And I wanted to leave in the next 55 minutes. Unfortunately, I don't have any videos done for tomorrow. Not even a little bit. So I can't go for a haircut. Tough. I'm going to have to just go the way I am. And that's kind of how the weekend goes for me. I'm not going to be able to get chem here. So I'm either going to need to go buy someone or use a rare card. Uh, I don't mind using a rare card. It just where possible, I do like to avoid using it. Can I get two chem anywhere? Yeah, it just that happens. You know, it's just it's just the nature of YouTube. But doing it as a job means that you can't. You know, if you're ill and you want a day off, tough. You know, you you can take a day off and not upload if you really want to. But I I never want to run that risk. It's not something I ever want to do. Um, having a day off on YouTube is. It, well, not always, but it can be career suicide to a to a degree. It's like having one day off will will trigger algorithms and drop you out of suggested, and people will forget about you. And it it it's that drastic sometimes having one day off. And it sounds like I'm being over dramatic, but honestly, it um it happens. It it happens. It it can take weeks and or months to recover. From having one day off on YouTube with the, where you don't upload one video. And I just can't afford to do it, you know? So, if I do that, by the way, and then that, and then maybe I can get away with putting him in there. There you go. There you go. That's not bad. We're using one rare player, and it's a 75 rated, and we get a, a, a two two rare player pack for that. I'm not going to get anything back from it, but hey, it's, um, it's using up those untradeables, because theoretically, at least... 
on Thursday will be packing loads of untradeables anyway because I'm going to take untradeables because of the footmas SBCs we're likely to get. Um, so that comment ties in with, have you thought about not doing the first Team of the Week prediction video and use that time to play more games? No, because again, uh, it's a job and unfortunately, whereas I would love to say to you guys, you guys come first and uh, and I'm going to do, no boards, brilliant. Uh, you guys come first and I'm going to um, play the games and one weekend just forget about it. It's It's money at the end of the day. Would you not go to work to, I don't know, I can't think of a decent analogy, but it's like, it's it's essentially, not doing one video is like not going to work. That Team of the Week video, by the way, the first Team of the Week video that I do on Saturday, just the preliminary research video, um, that takes pretty much as long as you take to watch it to make it. I sit down and I just have a look through the, the, the websites that I use. Hello? Um, I sit down and have a look at the website that I use, and uh, and you see me do it in real time. There's little to no editing in it, so the only thing that I have to do is I take that clip, which is like 10, 15 minutes, put it into my editing software, put a little bit of music in the background, in background intro, outro, and then render it and upload it. So it's not like I'm, I'm not taking that much time out of my day. And that gets thousands of views. That gets double the views of a Road to Glory video. So whether, you know, you guys are the loyal... Um, viewers of the channel and I do want to please you guys more than anybody else but at the end of the day uh, they, well not they but that video in particular, it doesn't count as a special card does it? No it does it's there, it's just too much blue going on too much blue, there it is um, yeah, you guys are the um, the loyal guys and I, I want to please you more than anybody else but unfortunately it comes down to money because this is my job, this is a business, right? So I have to, I have to pay bills. I have to make money. I can't sacrifice other videos for the sake of playing an extra ten games on a road to glory. One day I'll find that I have enough time to play all thirty games. Thirty games, uh, yeah, all thirty games, and I will do it. Uh, but unfortunately, it's going to have to come at just a random time that just creeps up on me. I, I can't. I can't do it any other way, uh, unfortunately. Uh, this Road to Glory episode is going to be a bit of an unedited one. I'm going to edit a little bit of the gameplay, sure, uh, but I'm going to gonna, I'm going to go into a game now, into a Rivals game. We're going to bring on uh, Tony Cruz at some point. We're going to play through. We're going to try and get the win. Uh, did I just did I unnecessarily use a fitness card? I don't know, but either way, we're going to bring on Cruz at some point. We're going to try and go for a win. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, can I, yeah, I can just go into a game right there. I, I think I've already checked this, but I'm gonna double check that I'm recording. I am, cool, right. Let's just get into this game and see what we can do. I do have a few, uh, few little questions to get through. Someone said that he played 27 games yesterday, and now he's one keyboard short, have a hole in the wall, and in serious need of sleep. And, uh, I feel you. Honestly, I get so agitated when playing foot champs. Not, not rivals. I'll go into this now and I won't rage at all. And just one of those things. I just, I don't care about rivals. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'd love to, I'm, I would love to win this game. Regardless of this guy's team, I would love to win. And I feel like I, I'm good enough to win. But, um, I need to get my little notepad down. If you didn't know, what I have to do when I play every single game is I have to have a notepad next to me and a pen. And I have to write down the minutes that something happens um, so that I know when editing to go back through it to look at that minute. I used to um, I used to not do it. And, and for a, about, I don't know, six, seven months, I well, maybe even a year actually, I didn't do player reviews because I didn't want the hassle of having to go through all of the clips to find the clips of, of certain players. And then before I realized, hang on, if I just write down the minute of the, the clip, so for instance on the 20th minute, if I scored a goal with a player that I was reviewing, just write it down and then I can go back and have a look through it. It's so simple, but I just didn't think to do it at the time. And, uh, and that put me off doing player reviews through most of FIFA 15. I realized it right at the end that I could do that. I just sort of worked out, oh, hang on, why didn't I just write down the clips? I'm so stupid. I could have been doing player reviews a lot sooner than what I started. Um, but, you know, hey-ho, you live and learn. Uh, so, 
what was I saying? I don't know. Well, weekend league stressing me out. I uh, that's got to be offside, surely. Yeah, I one like I said, one week I will sit down and play all all of my games, but unfortunately, it it just has to come first doing team of the week predictions. You know, it's just one of those situations, unfortunately, where. Uh, I have to pay bills and I have to focus on it. And that Saturday Team of the Week video doesn't take up hardly any time and it earns a fair bit of money. So it's 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 a, it's a an unfortunate situation. I, I mean, I would love to have a channel where I only have to upload a Road to Glory and maybe one other video and I don't necessarily have to worry about Team of the Week predictions. Oh, that's a goal. Gee, I didn't see that coming. Um, by the way, I will 100% lose this. Not because... Um, but with a combination of me, A, not being good enough. And B, because I have to talk while I'm playing. And I just can't multitask. I'll say um a lot and I'll lose my train of thought because I'm focusing on the game. And I'll still lose. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, um, what was that? I forgot what I was even saying. Uh, yeah, no, that uh, that I'd love to be able to upload just one video. Uh, yeah, I know other people like get away with just uploading one video, uh, but I can't because of money, basically. It's not because I love creating content so much I need to release three videos a day. It just I need to do it to keep the numbers up, you know. So um, one day, who knows? We might get there. If I could, if I could average about four thousand views, a road to glory. If I got the average watch time that I get right now on a road to glory episode, and then I I got four thousand views on it then I would be able to drop a video for that day. So if I was getting 4,000 views every episode of The Road to Glory, then it would not be a problem whatsoever. And um, I would be able to drop a video, giving me more time. I don't think I'd ever drop Team of the Week predictions, which is slightly problematic because I hate that. He's running towards me and you think, right, well, he hasn't read it. And then you play it and all of a sudden he just goes, oh, I'm going to turn around and run back towards where you're playing it. It's like they know, you know. I've just given that away. This guy is annoying because he's everywhere. Feels like he's got 15 players. Uh, yeah, it hasn't, obviously. But uh, just he's set up in a way that I'm struggling to cope with it. But yeah, if I could drop one video and just do a Team of the Week predictions video on a Sunday, maybe only do the Road to Glory on a Saturday, I would more than be happy to play all my games because I'd have the time to do it. But, uh, you know, that's for one day in the future, maybe. Not at the moment. Right, let's just... Tr Try and focus on getting this ball into a position where we can do that. Ah, good save, good save. So, everyone's talking about Sturridge weak foot and saying he's unusable. Everyone was talking about Danny Alves' stamina, etc, etc, etc. They are my favourite players so far this year. Unless you're a pro or whatever, the those minuscule, minuscule stats don't even matter. So use who you like. I completely agree with you and I've been saying that for the best part of this whole game. Um, people who don't necessarily go for top 100 or even finish elite get bogged down in stats too much. Um, I do because it's my job too. Like, I do player reviews, so I'm kind of trying to help. Kind of trying to. I'm trying to help as many people as I can. So when I do a player review, uh, it might be for someone who is going for top 100. I don't know why you'd want to watch a player review of someone who gets, like, gold every week. Uh, but still, um, yeah, it... it you know, I'm trying to pander to everybody. So it, I'm trying to pander to people who enjoy that player in real life and the, the, the card in game. And I'm also trying to help out people who finish elite and top 100 and what have you. So when I look at player stats, I kind of have to look at it objectively. And I look at it like, you know, you're trying to finish top 100. Because you don't want to use a trash card, whether you're having fun or not. You don't want to use a bad player. Uh, oh, God. Yep, this guy's better than me, hands down. It's just nothing I can do about it. I, I would love to have gone into this Rivals game and been better than the guy and been able to talk through it and just be slapping him uh, and it make me make it look easy. But this is this is real stuff. You know, this is what happens. Uh, I go into 80% of my games where the people are better than me and I have to grind it out. Unfortunately, I can't concentrate on grinding it out because I have to talk through it. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. He would beat me anyway, probably. This guy's got a, a very good team, and he's a very good player. He seems to read most of what I'm doing. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. It's only a game of FIFA at the end of the day. It's only, well, I say that. It's only rivals, you know? Well, I hate it when people say, oh, calm down, it's just a game. Just shut up. It's not just a game. 
FIFA isn't just, I mean, technically speaking, I suppose it is just a game, but it's not to most people. You know, it's, come on, A, to me, it's my job, and B, to, to a lot of people, it, it is more than a game. It's an accomplishment. It's something that you're trying to, you know, like Weekend League in particular, you set yourself a target. If you don't hit that target, you beat yourself up about it. And it's not just a game. Some people can switch off and detach from it, but most people can't. And even if this wasn't my job, what the hell was that? Um, I wouldn't be able to just go, ah, oh, don't worry, it's just a game. I would get very, I still get as just as stressed and bitter and twisted about it. I don't do it about anything else in life, but FIFA triggers me. Really does trigger me. Um, and it's just one of those things that's always been the case, you know? I, it's just because it's something that I feel really passionate about. It's a video game at the end of the day, I know, but I still feel really passionate about this game and I want to do well on it. And when I don't do well, or I'm like now inside, I'm, I'm bubbling because I'm not winning this game. It's only rivals, so I'm not going to get too angry about it, but I am annoyed that I'm losing 2-0. And especially because it's on camera and people are watching and you're all like sat there judging what I'm doing. But it is what it is. Um, why don't you tell us players you'd like to use slash keep in your team and we'll try and build you the best concept teams possible, obviously realistic. And uh, and yeah, by all means. The, the problem I have is that I... Right now, at least, I actually really like all of the players in my team. I mean, if I really wanted to upgrade, uh, maybe I'd be looking at someone like Miranda. Because even though I really like Miranda, he's not... You know, it, there are better players there. And I don't mind switching someone like Miranda for a better card because... Um, because I, I understand that I don't have an emotional attachment to him and I understand that he's not a great card. But everyone else in this team right now, I actually really like. And I couldn't think of anyone I'd want to switch. Like... Mertens would be a player that I'd be happy to switch out if there was an alternative. So, for instance, if I could afford Ronaldo, I'd be more than happy to switch out Mertens. But someone like... Um, who's Someone who's marginally better than Mertens. Like, for, say, for instance, the inform Mertens. I couldn't... I should have brought on Tony Kroos, actually. I, um, I can't justify bringing on... I'll do it right now. I can't justify going out and getting the inform version of Mertens for the... Let's let's take off. I don't want to, but let's take off Roberto Firmino. Let's bring on Tony Cruz. I won't do anything just yet. I'm going to switch back into the four-two-three-one because I'm playing four-three-two-one right now because I felt like my midfield was getting overrun. But if I just switch back into a four-two-three-one, and uh, we'll give Tony Cruz um, sort of freedom to move in the cam spot. I really like him as a cam. I, it, what I actually really prefer is Luka Modric cam and Tony Cruz just in behind. Those two are fantastic in a team together. I really like that. Mertens, good football. Aguero, go for it with a... What a goal that is. Um, back in the game, undeservedly, definitely. But we're still back in the game. And it all happened from that Tony Cruz substitution. But, um, yeah. I, uh, I, I would say that this team right now just needs a better defender. Miranda needs to be switched. And we might do that on Wednesday, sorry, on Thursday. You know, depending on how much money we get with regards to rewards or if we pack someone who can replace him. Or if they bring out an SBC that we can complete on Thursday. Because they, they seem to be bringing out a new player every day. So hopefully we get one today. You guys probably already know. But for me, I don't, obviously, because it's only 20 past 2 in the afternoon. Um... You guys may already know this, but uh, if they bring out, say, for instance, I'm trying to think of someone who could fit chem-wise. Who's my right back again? Uh, Danny Alves. Yeah, it'd be a bit tricky. I mean, if they were to bring out a, a Champions League Marquinhos, whatever. If we bring out a Champions League Marquinhos, I don't know why I'm writing this down. I'm going to leave the whole gameplay in there. Screw it. Then, uh, then that's going to be a player that I go for, definitely. I'd be more than happy to go for him. Even Thiago Silva. I, I wouldn't mind. I mean, did they, yeah, they've, they're not going to bring out two centre-backs two days in a row, though. That's the only issue. The The other thing, of course, is that we've got Footmas soon, hopefully at least. So we could get something decent out of Footmas. I'll go uh, try not to swear. It's very difficult. Um, I don't think there's anything else I need to address here, really. Um, Sturridge is really bad. You're missing out on Mertens. 
What are you missing out? Mertens is better, just my opinion. I really like Boateng. He might be surprising because he's got low stamina. But yeah, the thing is, when when uh, that comment uh, came in about, you know, just use players you really enjoy using, and I and I 100% agree, if, if I enjoy using... Even if I'd enjoy using that Daniel Sturridge or even someone like Mo Salah, the issue that I have is I know certain stats are minuscule, and if I enjoy using them, it doesn't matter. The The weak foot on a player really does matter to me, regardless whether I enjoy them or not. Um, ben Yedder, for instance. What? Oh, the referees in this game. What? What's that for? I had the how you can't foul someone when you have the ball. Like, in real life you can, of course, but not in this game. It's physically impossible. There isn't enough buttons or commands for me to foul someone if I'm in possession. Absolutely crazy. I've given that away, probably. No? Okay, cool. Um, yeah, but, like, a weak foot. Like, Ben Yedder is so good in this game because he's got a five-star weak foot. Even the even the base version of the card. Boom. Ah. Everything gets blocked. If it doesn't get blocked, it goes in. But everything gets blocked. Nine Golan has been booked somehow as well. I'm picking up so many yellow cards since the update. I don't know whether they've tweaked referees to be a little bit more sensitive, which kind of was needed, but at the moment they're being far too sensitive. It's like one way um, one way too far each time for EA. You know, they, they, they need to tweak... Oh, go on. Nah, see, that's a foul in my opinion. Aguero's been blocked off there. Uh, I need to bring on. Yeah, I needed to bring on subs about ten minutes ago. But I, I mean, I was I was always going to lose this. This guy's just better than me, hands down. And talking really doesn't help. But um, it is what it is. If this was a uh, if this was a foot champs game, it would really trigger me. I'd be I'd be a lot more annoyed about what's happening in this game. But like I said, because it's rivals, it's it's like I can I can look past it. Got any more? Uh, someone just said when you're sat on the toilet watching TVM. I didn't read the rest of it, but that's uh, that's pretty much all I need to know about that conversation. Um, can you do a review on foot swap Lerma? Uh, I don't collect the foot swap tokens. There's a foot swap SBC actually, isn't there? I should probably do that. But I don't collect the foot swap tokens on my main account because I can't be bothered. Um, <laughs> uh, it is down to the fact that I just can't be bothered, to be fair. Um, but like on this account, again, oh, why not? Ooh, not bad, not bad. Um, yeah, I just... It, it's a case of missing too many of them. Like, they don't make them too difficult to obtain, in my opinion. They make them quite easy to obtain. But I just, if I miss one, I kind of give up on the whole thing. So I probably will be able to get enough tokens for Lerma. But it probably won't be, I, I won't be able to do it on my main account. Oh, well, that's a lie. I will be able to do it on my main account. But it won't be until, like, right at the end of the month when no one cares anymore sort of thing. Uh, I'll be able to do it on this account, but I kind of don't want to. Like, I don't want to waste it on a player that I'm never going to use. I would like to get a pack, that, like a 35k pack or a 55 or something. Something that at least I have a chance of packing something decent from. So unfortunately, I won't be doing reviews on any of those foot swap cards. If in the future, they like January for instance, they release a decent foot swap promo. Because this week, or this month rather, this month's foot swap has been worse in my opinion than the the than last month at least we had a flashback pedro we could have gone for and they had a couple of other decent players in there but uh but this month I've, i'm not gonna bother making subs now it's too late but this month like none of the players in my opinion based on the stats that you can see none of them are usable boom that's a goal oh come on how has that not gone in I can't believe you're complaining that didn't go in. What a ridiculous effort. It's a mechanic, you know. Just just a quick mention on, on finesse shots, by the way. And I, I would love to be able to just go and score loads of different types of goals. But if something's overpowered, just use it, you know. Just just master it and get used to it and use it. End of the game, we've lost 3-1. I can't complain. That guy was much better than I was. And I'm not going to moan about it at all. And I am relatively calm. I'm not even raging inside, to be fair. But like I said, if that was foot champs i would have broken something by now and not that i have any right to break something because that guy was better than me it was a very even game on paper but he was better than me um and it is what it is you know uh i feel like once i get to gold two matchmaking it gets a lot more difficult well that i mean that is true to be fair it, it, it will do you can use marquinhos instead of miranda yeah no i know 
I know. No, it is true. It is true that um, matchmaking will get harder as you progress further because you're getting more wins and you're likely to have more losses. If you have games left when you got to goal two, you've probably got uh, a low number of losses. It, it's just the way the game is and it happens. So you, you notice that the first five or six games, you might actually go 5-0, and 6-0. and You might get hard luck sometimes where you come up against someone who's very, very good. Uh, but you, the first sort of... Four, five or six games maybe even 10 games aren't that difficult generally speaking compared to the the next few because you are you're coming up against harder opponents who are on your level and that will be the case uh so unfortunately that there's some truth to be to be had there um we sold uh, malone for a thousand not too bad a few other bits and bobs to sell and uh and that i think that's going to do it for today's game i think in the future we will build a team. I might go out and buy Modric because A, he'll be a very good super sub anyway. And B, I could actually start him with Tony Kroos in some sort of situation. Uh, but I think that's going to do it for today's episode. I don't know how much you guys like the full live games. And uh, it's very difficult for me to do it because speaking and playing, very difficult. Uh, I'm hoping tomorrow's episode will be a little bit different. I'm kind of hoping they drop some Champions League SBCs that we can do because obviously Champions League is back today. Uh, but like I said, I have to go somewhere all day tomorrow, so I'm really not sure what the Road to Glory will entail. But hopefully it'll be a, um, a semi-decent episode. If you have enjoyed that, maybe once a week you'd like to see a live game with a lot of me answering the comments, then... You know, feel free to let me know down below. And if you want another one tomorrow, just get your comments in, and I will uh, I will play another live game, and uh, we'll talk through the comments there. If you have enjoyed it, do me a favor and smack the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and until the next time, goodbye.